Hello, this is God of Entertainment, and I'm here for another video with you guys. So I want to discuss weighing your precious metals. This is a good way to, you know, verify that they're authentic without going the full nine yards. And the full nine yards would be uh, sending this to a professional, uh, you know, your precious metals, but that would cost a lot of money and, you know, people like me don't have a lot of money. So this is one of the tools to make sure that you're not really buying fake shit. So I got this scale off of Amazon. It costs 15 bucks, pretty cheap. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check that out. And I had to calibrate it by using nickels. It didn't come with anything. I had to use 20 nickels to get 100 grams, and that's how I calibrated this. Uh, the scale, of course, is not the most accurate, especially given the price, but it does its job. And as long as there's no major deviation from the standard, you're fine. So I got this one ounce silver eagle from a pawn shop, a pretty reputable one called Beltline and Jewelry here in Alabama. Beautiful coin. So, one troy ounce of silver is 31.103. Right now it's in grams. I'm gonna set this down, we're gonna see what the value is, right? 31.36. That's within the margin of error. I would be worrying if it said something like 31.5 or over. At that point, I would be worrying and sweating, but there's really no reason to fret. Sometimes these coins can be a little heavier, and again, the scale isn't 100% accurate as long as it's not something crazy. So, I'm gonna weigh some other silver. I have a one ounce silver bar that I got from Atmex. Atmex is very reputable online dealer. So, let's put this down, let's see what we get. 31.33, so, 3.03 .03 less than that American Silver Eagle. Well, it's not in that exact target of 31.103, but it's not gonna be fake either. So again, as long as it's not nothing crazy like 31.5 or over, I would not be worrying. It's still very close to that American Silver Eagle, so it's fine. All right, now I'm gonna measure my gold for you guys. So this is one gram gold bar. Let's put it on the scale and see what it says. So that's 1.02 grams of gold. Again, it's within that margin of error. It's fine if it deviates slightly, nothing wrong with it. I'd be worrying if it was like 1.1, <laughs> that'd be pretty crazy, uh, especially because I got this from a pretty good online dealer. They're called Liberty Coin, they're in California. So that's fine, 1.02 is just fine if it deviates a little bit like that. This is my golden panda. This is um, 1 20th of an ounce of gold. What does that mean? That means it's 1.55 or 1.56. So as long as I get either values are very close with almost no deviation, it's fine. Let's put it down the scale. 1.56, yeah, it's right there, spot on, really. So, you know, I'm sleeping well at night. <laughs> So I would recommend getting this scale, it's very inexpensive, 15 bucks, link in the description. But this is one way to make sure that what you're buying isn't fake. And as long as there's no crazy deviations, it's just fine. So thank you for watching.